Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to talk about how we get the electrons from the wall outlet to the bead roller and convert them into rotating motion. Alright guys, so what we're doing here today is, at viewer request, we're just going to go over the uh, wiring diagram, or the wiring for the bead roller. I don't really have a diagram, I didn't draw it out, but this is easier for me to just make a video, so that's what we're going to do. First thing we'll talk about are the components. Now, in my other videos, we've talked about this, but since we're uh, kind of going from scratch here, we'll just start over. Uh, here's what we have. Inside the electronics enclosure is a power supply, the um, you know, pulse width modulator or speed controller, the uh, forward reverse switch, and the rheostat for the speed controller. The way we're going to talk about the wiring here is uh, from the outlet to the motor. So we'll talk about the path that the uh, power travels starting at the outlet. So from the outlet, which is over there, I just ran an extension cord. So this is an old extension cord, and it goes up into the power uh, supply. And then from the power supply, it converts the AC from the wall power to DC, which this motor runs off of. So we got AC in, and then we have DC out to the power, or to the speed controller, and then from the speed controller to the winch motor. So it's super simple. What we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna go over, and I have another power supply that's uh, off the bench, or on the bench, off the part, and we're gonna talk about uh, the, the actual hookups onto that, and what wires go where. All right, guys, on the table here, we've got a couple electrical components outside of the enclosure. Um, this one's going to look different to you. This is a speed controller. Um, so basically, this is a speed controller with everything uh, built in. It's got the, the rheostat and the reverse, forward and reverse and neutral switch just built onto it. But the wiring is four point on the back. It's exactly the same as the other one. But I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. Okay, so a 120 volt power supply or Maybe they call it a 12 volt power supply. But either way, the, its purpose is to take 120 uh, wall power and convert it into DC that we can use to run these uh, winches or other 12 volt uh, systems. So wiring them is not that difficult. When you look at this, most of them are gonna have a legend up here. I'm gonna see if I can get it so you can see that. If you can't read this, here's what it says. The first two posts are labeled L and N for line and neutral. So what you want to do is hook the, so your, your wall plug has three wires, right? The bottom one in the middle is the earth or the neutral, and then the black one is the line, the white one is the, the neutral. Did I already say that something else was the neutral? <laughs> the ground is the green one, the black is the line, which is the power, that, that's the one that'll bite you. And then the neutral is the other one, and that's used to complete the circuit. Uh, I don't want to get into that. You can, you can look it up if you're curious to how it works. We're just talking about how to wire this thing. So from the wall, we're going to go black, white, green. Black to the line, white to the neutral, green to the ground. And now we've got power into our power supply. Okay, after we've powered our power supply, if you come over here and you keep reading down the way, you'll see COM, COM, plus V, and plus V. Now, the way that this is, is put together, initially it was kind of confusing for me. So what you need in a DC power is you need a power and a ground, right? So they're calling the COM grounds. So the next two studs are gonna be ground wires. You can use either one of them and the other studs, the, the two remaining studs are gonna be power. Those are hot 12 volt going out and you can use either one of those. So when you hook it up, it's gonna be a ground and then a power or let's see, or you can do a ground and a power, however you want, but two comms, that's what they're calling ground. And then V plus is the power. These are the 12 volt hot leads and these are the negative 12 volt uh, grounds right here. So ground, ground, hot, hot. However you choose to wire that is fine. You just need to grab one ground and one hot. I did it with these two, I think. Over there, we'll go over and look at it in a minute. But I did it with, with these two, I believe, just because they were closest together and easy to get. So again, starting over. 
line, that's the black wire out of the, out of the house. And then neutral, the white one, green is gonna be our ground. And then these are two, uh, again, they're calling it COM, it's just a ground, 12 volt grounds, 12 volt positives. And then over here, if you look right here, you will see a small rheostat. And what that does is its job is to fine tune your 12 volt output. So if you put a multimeter on a ground and a power and it's like 11.5 and you want to clean 12 volts out of it, you can adjust this small rheostat and bump it up to a clean 12 volts. All right guys, once you have the power supply wired up, the next thing we're gonna do is run the clean 12 volts from the power supply to the speed controller, pulse width modulator. Um, you might see it called that. So these, the wiring on this is super easy. Uh, usually they're labeled and there's four posts. If there's more than four, four posts, they'll be labeled. Some of them may have like several outputs, but typically one input. So the power and the motor, so it's labeled power and motor. The power is referring to the power coming in from the power supply. And you're just getting a, a clean 12 volt ground and 12 volt power. And then out is to our winch motor, negative and positive. And the way the switch works is when it's in the off position, obviously nothing is coming out of the motor side. You got your 12 volts in and nothing coming out. And as you turn it on and up, it's modulating uh, the power going out. So less power, the motor goes slower, more power, the motor, motor, motor goes faster. God, I got some fucking Tourette's or something. Um, and then the switch, what its job is, is to reverse and uh, forward and reverse the motor. And in a DC motor, it does that by basically uh, switching the negative and positive. So the windings will be negative and the motor will be positive or the, the cent center part of the motor. And then to reverse it, they'll just switch those and that'll cause the motor to drive the other way. And that's the purpose of the switch. So you'll have 120 volt in here, 12 volt out, and then 12 volt here and then modulated 12 volt to the accessory that you're gonna drive. Let's go over to the bead roller and take a look at what it looks like on the actual bead roller itself. So I'm hand holding this uh, camera rig, so forgive me if, uh, if it takes me a little bit to, to get everything to where I need to, uh, to put it and show it. So here's the wiring uh, from the, the business side of it. I got the power coming in from the house here and it's wired here, just how we talked about it over on the table and then the 12 volt out, so 120 in, 12 volt out going into the speed controller. And then from the speed controller, it's coming out to the winch motor. So that really, that's all there is to it. And then on the winch controller, you know, I've got uh, on my particular one, forward, off and reverse, and then a rheostat to control the speed of it. And then, uh, actually mine has one more step. It has a, uh, a foot controller that I forgot to talk about here. Let's talk about that. So the foot controller, what I did is I basically interrupted the power from the, from the wall. So the power down there is actually coming from the wall to the foot switch. So nothing's powered until I hit the switch. I hit the foot switch and then everything comes alive and then the, the speed controller gets power. So it's wall to the foot switch, foot switch to the power supply, 120 volt, out 12 volt to the speed controller and then modulated power out to the winch motor. And then you've got you know, your real stat and on off and reverse switch. That is all there is to it. That's the wiring for this bead controller. If you guys have more questions, please ask. I'm happy to help make videos. Uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe if this kind of thing helps you out. I enjoy making these videos and your feedback means a lot to me. So thanks again, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We appreciate you taking the time. This is my son, Asher. He really enjoys being in the shop and building and checking out what dad go, uh, has going on. And he just wanted to say hi. Go ahead and say hi, bud. Hi. You know who's out there? Yeah. How, how many people are out there? Million. I wish. <laughs> 330. There's 330 subscribers. Uh, so if you guys uh, can, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out. But anyways, hi. thanks. Oh, his brother's coming. He's got to go. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hope this one helps. Hey, look up here. This is the camera up here. Look up there.